Happy Market Monday, everybody. Chris from Fluent Mortgage, Market Fluently. So this one we're titling Survivor. And in case you haven't seen the last, I think it's 45 seasons of Survivor, a bunch of people put on island and they have to survive, right? And in case you haven't watched it for a while, there's 15 people that are all competing. Limited resources, not enough stuff. And they have to last 39 days. And one of a few outcomes can happen, right? They could die. They can quit, they're gonna get kicked off, but for one happy person that survives the end, they get a million dollars. Man, this sure feels like real estate and mortgage to me, right? And the time period we're in, survivor. 40% of real estate people are supposed to be gone within the next year. Lucky you, 70% of bankers, brokers are supposed to be dead and out of the industry by the end of the year. Surviving, okay, we'll talk about that to finish, just a second. Last week, what happened? Key thing is the Fed chair spoke yet again. Uh, even though we won't see any increases or official news until September, he did really seem to indicate he wants to do at least one more rate increase. Even though we're where we need to be, even though more than half of the other Fed officials are saying, don't raise rates anymore, he sure seems focused on making that happen. This week, a ton of reporting this week a couple key ones towards the middle and the end. Reminder, get your contracts in, get them locked right away. We do that in abundance of caution, right? And some good news though, rates are slightly better, going down a little bit and improving throughout the day today. So some good news there. And then finally, back to Survivor, right? Bookmark that, Inclusio. Outwit, outplay, and outlast their theme, your competition. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, share to your success. We'll see you next week. Make sure you're one of those survivors.